Hello all, welcome to All in One Expert. Today I will make this video for all of them who want to create WordPress free website and want to rank it. It is not necessary that a paid domain and website will give you the best results. With some good work, you will get results from free websites and blogs as well. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a free WordPress website and submit it to webmasters without wasting time let's start with the process so first of all we need to create a wordpress account for that let me search here wordpress so okay yeah it's loading now you can see here create your own website create your own blog let me type here wordpress free let me see okay you can see here there is three ads running by them Great. okay okay let me open wordpress here so it's loading start your website okay let me check here now I need to create a user account here so type your email let me type it here so I want to use this email so let me log in okay so I will choose the option here sign in with continue with team Google okay so first of all I need to verify my email here let me check if I receive message not now okay when for Google code but I didn't receive that let me check again Okay, I have the old code. Let me try. This. So I entered the code. Now let me press next here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so now, now I logged into my account here. Uh, let me go here. Continue with Google. Okay. Let me select my email. Now it's loading here. Okay, type a uh, domain name. Okay, let me check here. Let's get your site domain ready. Okay, let me try this okay dot in okay i want to use free wordpress okay so let's select this but it's uh, giving me some numbers after that so let me change the name name here which is available okay yeah you can see here it's available marktick dot wordpress dot com select Okay, it's asking for money but I don't want to go with the paid account I want the free one let me check here how okay, I can do that okay okay you can see here start with the free website so click on that okay your site will be ready shortly so let's wait Okay, so it's creating site here. So it's almost done. Your site has been created. So let's see how it looks. So on the right side, top right, you can see visit site. Click on that. 
okay so it's opening here okay so your site is ready okay great okay so now I need to customize the home page of my website for that I need to go here customize site identity okay click on that site title okay so you can choose any title which you want to give <laughs> sorry right now I will give here get answer for all technical Queries. Okay, it's too long. So what I will do, I will paste this in a tagline, and the site title is the same, which is the name of the website, which is Mark Tech. Okay, get answer for all technical queries. Okay. Now I need to edit this welcome to your new site okay if you want you can it's like update to select any site icon here you can select site icon as well site icon means it will show like you can see here the wordpress in a blue color okay you can change this by uploading the site icon from here you can change this as well okay okay let me see here now let's click on the back button okay menus color let's see in the home page settings okay go back content options show feature images okay i need to check from where i can change this welcome to your new site okay okay it's a home page already created so we need to save the changes here and just cross that and now go to pages and all pages so you need to edit the home page here edit okay okay I can see it's showing welcome to your new website so I can type here welcome to Arctic okay and you can give any description here or any title and on learn more button you will give link to the other website or the same website as well or internal page in your website okay so now let's scroll down okay so it's a uh, blogs which is showing here your latest blogs okay now this is subscribe button so let's update this okay so it's updating here you can see page updated okay now let's click on view page now you can see here the changes which we made it's showing here mark tick get answer for all technical queries and this is welcome to mark tick okay so this is our website which looks like this okay so now let me go to the dashboard again Okay, it's loading here okay or you can edit your website by typing your blog name and WP-admin 
okay now you can see the dashboard here now in the post you will see all the posts which is showing on your home page blog section click on all posts it's loading okay you can see here introduce yourself example post example post right if you will open a web, open your website okay let me open this and you will see all these posts on your blog section okay and you will create any post by yourself and update it here and i will tell you how you can create a blog post which will show on your home page of this theme okay so before uploading the content let's make changes in our website icon okay so let's go here and in appearance you need to click customize and here you can go to the site identity and select site icon okay so you can create any site icon any image okay so i will upload from my computer okay i have it here okay it's empty.jpg so you can give name to the image which you upload in the alt text and the title okay so once someone will search for this mark pick on a web on a google so your image will appear with that name that's why we are using this in a title and the alt tag so select if you want you can crop the image or else okay keep cropping or you can crop if you want let me see if it will work okay where it is okay so I think this image size is already a small so we are not able to crop that's fine so click on crop image or skip cropping as you want okay so this is how it looks like now if you search and refresh this okay it will show okay it should show the site icon here it's not showing right now it may take some time okay so let's wait for that meanwhile okay meanwhile i want to change this learn more button as well okay so let me go to the home page so it's here pages all pages and home page so let's edit so i want if someone clicks on learn more button the person will redirect to my youtube channel okay so let me copy the link here for my youtube channel Okay, so here it is. So let me copy this like link here and go to edit page and click on learn more. Okay, here you can see edit and paste. Okay, so it's done. Okay, great. So we need to update the page. So click on update here. Okay, so it's updated. 
Now let's see here if it works. Let's refresh. Okay, now when you click on learn more, okay, it will redirect to my YouTube channel. Great. Okay, if you want, this YouTube channel will open in another tab, in the next tab, not the same tab. Then you will do that as well. Let me check how you can do that. Okay, open in new tab. Select that and update once again. So let's see if it's updated yeah I think so so now when you create what sorry when you click on this learn more button the channel will open in another tab now okay okay let me see why it's not working oh, okay let me paste the channel then update here so it's updated let's refresh click on learn more yes now it's open great okay now I have content with me. Let me show you here. Okay, it's here. Okay. So it's how to set up a Zoom meeting with friends step by step guide. Okay, so I want to publish this content on my WordPress blog. Okay. So while you're writing content for your web page or your blog, make sure it's minimum 600 words long okay so let's do it now okay so here okay. let's cross one of them okay because there is two pages are open that's why it's not getting the changes okay so i closed the one of them let me go to the dashboard okay slash wp dash admin now in post you need to click on add new So it's loading okay now you need to add title here okay so it's here now let's copy and paste it here no okay I need to paste it in a title section so here okay now I need to copy this paragraph and paste it here. Okay. Okay. Now this is the second heading of my paragraph. Okay. So let's copy and from here. I will select heading and I will use h2 tag so it's already h2 okay now let's copy this paragraph first these two lines okay now let's copy 
these points. Okay. Okay. So now this line. Now this is my H3 heading, like a third heading. Schedule a meeting. So I will copy and I will again go to heading and I will change it to H3. Okay. Now let's copy this and paste it. Now go to the next. Okay, so invite your friends to join your schedule meeting. Okay, I also want to give this H3 heading. The same. Go to the heading and make it H3. Okay, so press enter. Okay, now it's time to invite your friends to your schedule meeting. Okay, let's. Copy this. Okay. Now this is the under heading. I again want to use the H3 for the same. The H3 tag. So let me do it. Then go here heading and select h3 and press enter now let me copy these points here okay now let's close this paragraph let's close this content here okay And I want to use all this content in a code. So let's do it. Okay. Okay, you can see here, here, code. Just click that. Okay. You can see it's done now. Okay. So on my channel, on my like a YouTube channel, I have video for Zoom meeting, so I want to embed that here. And let me search on Google and see if it will appear in the search or not. So let's go to the Google directly. Again, okay, select how to schedule Zoom meeting with friends. So let me see my video showing in the search or not yeah okay it's on a third position you can see here so I want to embed this video here I received the so email see how I will now you need that. to click on activate account okay here it is setting quality share okay you can see the okay embed great so let's copy this code copy and go to here okay and i want to post this just before this content so i clicked here and in the block i need to select Code paragraph HTML custom HTML. Okay, just type here so it's done. So let's publish and see if it works. Okay, just wait here. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's publish this. So, for that, double check your studies before publishing. Publish immediately. 
share this post okay let me publish this so it's publishing now okay post published so let's view how it looks okay now you can see how to set up a zoom meeting with friends step-by-step -step guide okay yeah and you can see here the video is also showing okay looks great let me go to the home page so on a home page you can see here it's updated the blog which i created the post it's showing here okay so if you create more posts then it will change okay so now let's go to the dashboard again Okay, so let's go to the post again all post and let me edit this. Okay, it's loading. Okay, now I would suggest you you will give an internal and external link on your website it will help you with the SEO okay so I have another video on my page for SEO you will watch that and you will also do SEO of this website as well okay so like for zoom I will give the link for the official website so let me search here zoom, okay, zoom video conferencing let me copy this and here select the zoom and I want to give link press enter now you can see it's highlighted okay now and you need to give one internal link as well okay which will help you with the SEO so like I will see here okay okay Okay, change your name on Zoom. Okay, so let me see where I can give the internal link. Okay, like if I can see here, created your Zoom account, and I want to give link to my blog here. So let me copy this and paste here. Yeah, it's opening. Copy. So let me give link here and press enter okay so I gave one internal and one in external link right so I will tell you how you will upload image as well okay so I want to upload the image here so let me enter and you can click here and image upload so I already have this image so I will upload this you may upload image as per your preference okay so it's uploaded now let's update this let's refresh okay now let me open this blog post so it's open now you can see the hyperlink is here and it's showing the video and it's uh, hyperlink is here and the image is also uploaded here okay so now you know how to create a blog post okay
now there is one more thing we need to create a category for this post like if you can see here it's showing where it is uncategorized okay so we need to create a category for that okay uh, to create a category you need to click here on the gear icon click on that and in post just you can see here categories click on that so I want to create a new category with the name online meetings okay so add new category so you can see here it's created now I will uncheck from uncategorized so what I want to do I want to create one subcategory inside online meetings with the name of zoom so I will select parent category as online meetings and then click on add new category so it's done you can see here under online meetings it's showing zoom okay so let me go here and refresh this okay here we need to update that so let's click on update okay so let's refresh now you can see it's showing online meetings and zoom as a category okay great so now before submitting website to the webmasters we need to launch this website so click on click on launch here okay it's asking type a domain name we want to launch okay so I don't want to purchase a domain so I will click on skip purchase and again start with the free website okay now they are again asking if you want to purchase a domain but I don't want so I will click here no thanks I will stick with marketing.wordpress.com okay now you can see hooray your site will be ready shortly okay so it's done okay so let me click on a visit site here and it's created okay now while you open a website you will see here there are like a menu which is home blog about and contact okay if you want you can change it by yourself okay like to change contact page you need to go to the pages and edit contact page and for about page you need to go to the about page and edit and you will change the information here okay and it's home and if you want to change the order of the pages okay then you need to go here in appearance you can see here menus click there so it's loading click on menus the primary menu okay, if you want the all want to change the order you can change like this and then click on save changes okay so let me refresh and you can see here the home is showing on the second button but I don't want to do that so what I'll do I want home on the top and about after the home okay now click on save changes let's see here
Okay, now you can see it's showing home, about, blog, and contact. Okay. Great. So if you want to create a sub page under this page, then you can create a new page and drop down like this. Okay. And then click on save changes. And when you refresh this page, you will see there is sub page under the blog. Okay. So this is how you will create a sub page or sub menu. Let me save this. So now let's start with the webmaster submission. So now we need to create webmaster's account. So let's go to the Google and here search for webmaster console. Okay. So let's open, click on that. Okay, now click on start now. Now you need to provide your website name. Yeah. So let me copy this. Okay, and press continue. So it's loading. Okay, now you will see HTML tag here. Just copy it, click on copy, and go to your dashboard of your website. And here you need to locate tools and click on that. Okay, and let's scroll down. Okay, let's see where I can find. I built your community introducing not here traffic okay Google Analytics verification here it is so paste the code here and click on save changes okay so it's, it's done okay so go to the Google console again and below this HTML tag you will see the verify button click on that so you can see here your ownership has been verified now go to property so I need to index those pages so let me copy the link here Start here, got it. Now I need to paste the link here and press enter. So your, your website is submit submitted to Google now. Click on got it and request indexing. So doing now. It may take some time. Let's wait for that. I want to index my blog URL as well. So let me copy that. It's always like it's done. So let's do the capture. Press verify. So it's submitted. Now I want to submit my blog post as well. So let's copy the link here and copy let's paste here again press enter so it's receiving data from google index okay so again click on request indexing so requesting the index of your blog post so 
Please take your time. Let's wait for it. Okay. So, oh wait, it's done. Okay. Let's see if it works. Okay. So your website and your blog post has been submitted to Google. Now let's create Bing Webmaster. Okay. Okay, Bing Webmaster Tools. So it's loading. Now click on get started here and select your Google account and log in the same email which you used for Google Webmaster. So it's loading. No thanks here. Okay, if you want, you can do the same thing again. Paste the URL, then add. Then you will get the HTML tag. And you need to upload the HTML tag in the Bing section and save changes. Else, you can you import the website from Google Console. So click on import here and press continue. Okay. So it's doing and again same email. So let's wait. Okay, so it's to read the right thing. Okay, allow. So now I clicked on allow here. So it's importing from Google Search Console. So it's showing your website. Just check here and import. Let's see if this free site has a site map as well. To know about the sitemap.xml, uh, you may see my other video, which is about this SEO. Okay, so it's here. So let's copy this sitemap URL first. Let's click. Done here. Now you can see here sitemap. Now click on submit sitemap and submit. So it's submitted. Yeah, it's submitted now. So I need to submit my website sitemap to Google as well. So here it is sitemap. Okay loading okay the site URL is already there so I just need to type it sitemap.xml so let's copy and type in and submit okay so it's submitting the sitemap here so it's done okay let me see here now we need to submit the links to the Bing index as well the website URLs let's copy this and go to the here here you can see URL submission okay in Bing you can submit the 10 links together let me copy the first for my home page and the second for blog post which is here So, yeah, so let's copy this and paste here and click on submit. So it's submitting. Okay, done. So let's see, URL is appear on a Google search console or not yet. Let's see. Go to Google and type the URL and press enter. okay so it's not indexed yet okay so sometimes 
it will index in just sort of five or ten minutes but sometimes it will take day or two it depends on the priority okay so let's see if the home page is indexed not now okay no problem we'll wait for that okay now let me check on bing as well yes on wing also it's not indexed yet okay no problem now you all know how to create free wordpress website and optimize that and after optimization how to submit it to google and bing webmasters okay so if you have any question or query regarding the same you may ask in the comment section below okay hope you like this video press the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video as much as you can and don't forget to press the bell icon so in future if i will post any new video you will get notification about the same thank you for watching